kindergartners. Today, I'm going to do a read aloud called The Three Little Pigs. And for today's read aloud, what we are practicing, what we are focusing on, what we are learning is how to retell a story. One of the most important things we learn how to do when we learn to read is how to remember what we read, right? Remembering what we read helps us understand it and helps us be able to talk to other people about it. So retelling a story is one way that we remember what we read. Okay. So we're going to practice doing this today. And I'm picking this book called The Three Little Pigs because I know most of you know this story already. So it's a good book to practice with. When we're practicing how to learn something new, a lot of times if we start with something we already know a little bit about, it makes it easier. Okay. This is something we've done all during kindergarten. We've done it all year, but today we're going to really practice with the three little pigs. So good readers remember and retell what they read. Let's read the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They were curious little pigs and eager to learn more about the big wide world. One bright summer morning, they packed their bags and set off together. The three little pigs enjoyed being out on their own. On many a sunny day, they shared a picnic with all of their new friends. Sometimes they played hide and seek in the morning and then took a nap in the shade during the after hot afternoon. The long summer days grew shorter. Many of the pigs' as friends started to prepare for the colder days ahead. The little pigs realized they needed a house that would be warm and safe, just like the one they had left. We're going to stop right there. And let's think in our private brain about what has happened so far in the story. If you have a mommy or daddy or brother or sister, you can turn to and talk to them about it. Do that right now. Okay. Otherwise, think in your brain. What is one thing that has happened in the story so far? Hey, partner. What's one thing that happened so far? Uh. I remember that they left home. There were three pigs and they left home, right? They packed their bags and left home. They left their mommies and daddies. Mm. Then what happened? They had picnics. Yeah, they had picnics and fun in the sun. But as the weather turned colder, they realized they needed to make their own house. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. I have an idea, said one of the pigs. We can each build our own house. Then we can have fun visiting each other. The first little pig was excited. I want to build my house as fast as I can, he thought. He grabbed the first thing he saw, some straw from the nearby field, and set to work. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. He did not spend much time planning his new straw home. Instead, he started building right away. After a short time, the house was finished. The pig wiped his brow with satisfaction. But the other two pigs had doubts about the house made of straw. Maybe it's not strong enough, one of them said. Hmm. Okay, it's not strong. The second pig thought, what can I use that will be better than straw? He gathered up the strongest, straightest sticks he could find. He, latch, he lashed some of the sticks together. That means tying them together. He lashed some of the sticks together and built a frame. Then he tied sticks to the frame to make walls. Hmm. Finally, the second little pig wiped his brow with satisfaction. A job well done, he thought. Meanwhile, the third pig remarked, It's very nice, but I don't think it's strong enough. So the third little pig searched everywhere. What can I find that will be better than sticks, he wondered. He came across a tumble-down building. There were old bricks all around. He decided they would be just right for his house. The third little pig set to work. Brick by brick, his house took shape. It took a long time, but the pig finished his sturdy house. Sturdy means it's very strong. He wiped his brow, quite satisfied with his handiwork. The two other little pigs shook their heads. They were not sure if this one little house was worth all that hard work. Okay, we're going to stop right there again. What did the pigs build their houses out of? Good readers remember what they read so they can retell it. So, we're now, we know that they were building houses. What's one of the houses made out of? Uh, one house is made out of bricks. I like bricks. 
bricks. The bricks. The third pig did bricks. What was another one made out of? Um, straw. Straw. And sticks. And sticks. They so won. we had straw and sticks. We had straw. The first pig made straw house. The second pig made sticks. And the third pig made a house out of bricks. Bricks and sticks. They rhyme. Very nice. All right. You go the one and die. After each pig had built his own little house, they had time to play. One day, when they were out having fun, they happened across some wolf tracks. When the pigs saw that a wolf had been nearby, they all ran home and locked their houses up tight. Look, there's our houses. We have the straw, the stick, and the brick. Soon enough, the wolf appeared at the door of the first little pig's house. The straw house shone golden in the sunshine. Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me come in, said the wolf, grinning his big wolf grin. No, cried the first little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. And with an enormous breath, the wolf blew down the house of straw. All right, let's stop for a minute. What just happened? The, the they wolf. saw a wolf. Wow. Let's go back. They saw wolf tracks. So they all went to their houses. houses and, and then the wolf came to the straw house. Uh huh. And he said, Let me. And, and then he blew the house down. Blew it down because the pig said, No, I won't let you in. Good readers remember what they read so they can retell it. Okay. The first pig ran to the second pig's house. Right after they had closed and locked the door, the wolf appeared. Little pigs, little pigs, come let me in, cried the wolf. No, cried the pigs, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. And with a tremendous breath, the wolf blew down the house of sticks. Oh, so now the wolf has blown down the house of straw and, and the house, house of um, sticks. sticks. Yep, please sit. Sticks. Now, the two little pigs ran as fast as they could to the brick house. All three little pigs watched from the windows as the wolf approached. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, come, let, let me come in, demanded the wolf. By now, he was feeling pretty sure of himself. No, shouted all the pigs together. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. But even with a stupendous breath, that means a very big breath, the wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. The wolf slumped, exhausted, exhausted, so tired, outside the little brick house. After resting a bit, the wolf came up with a new plan. The three little pigs guessed what he might do. So they lit a blazing fire by in the fireplace. Just as the pigs had guessed, the wolf climbed down the chimney. Oh, he went to the top of the house and climbed down the chimney. Before he could reach the bottom, his tail caught on fire. The wolf could not pull himself up and out of that chimney fast enough. He raced away in a panic. The three little pigs stood arm in arm in front of the sturdy brick house as they watched the wolf disappear into the distance. From that day forward, he was never seen again, and the pigs lived happily ever after. Look at them. All right. Smiling. Kindergartners, good readers can retell, remember and retell what they read. So right now, I want you to turn to the person next to you, or think in your private brain, if you were to retell this story, what would you say? What happened first? What happened second? What happened third? What happened fourth? Close. What happened in the end? Turn to your partner right now and talk to them about that. Or think in your brain. Tevia, how would we retell this story? Um, we would read it all over again. What if we didn't, we couldn't reread it? What if we didn't have the book? What do we remember? Uh, there were how many pigs? Three. Three pigs. And they built how many houses? Three. And what were the houses made out of? Straw. Straw. Um, law. Um, sticks, sticks and bricks. And bricks. And then one day, who came? Who came to blow down the houses? Who wanted to be getting the houses? The wolf. The wolf. They found the tracks and they ran into their houses. And he blew down. The first house he blew down was the 
Stop. house. And the second house he blew down was the stick. Uh huh. And the last house was the brick house. Couldn't that... blow it down. He couldn't. He couldn't blow it down. And the and it was so good. And so what did they do? They lit a fire. In the fireplace because he tried to come down through the chimney. chimney. But his tail caught on fire. Yeah, so he ran away. Did he ever come back? No, no. but I see smoke following him. And really super duper mega star readers remember two things from this story other than what happened first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and last. They remember what did the wolf say he said little pig little pig let me in. in and the pig said not by the hair of my chin chin, chin chin and then the wolf said i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house in All right so that's one of the other things that we always remember about the three little pigs is the story there were three pigs three houses made out of straw stick and brick and then the wolf came to blow the houses in. He blew down the house of straw. He blew down the house of sticks. But he could not blow down the house made out of bricks. So he tried to go down the chimney. And he got his tail burned in the fire in the fireplace. Okay? And those famous words, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. All right, kindergartners. Keep practicing retelling your stories. Stories you read with moms and dads at night. Retell, think in your brain, if you were, didn't have the book, if you didn't have the book and you wanted to tell somebody what happened in the story, what happened first, what happened second, what happened next, and then what? What was the ending? What were the parts of the story? Practice doing that at home, okay?